Hello and welcome to another week of home learning. This week we'll still be using that same warm-up and yes it's important to use it. I know we've done it for a couple of weeks but it, just like an athlete getting ready for practice they have to stretch, they have to loosen up and warm up their bodies. You also need to warm up your lips and warm up your fingers before we practice to get the most out of the practice session. So try not to change the warm-up any more than we have to. That way, it's not something you actually have to work on. It's just something that you can use to warm up. So let's go ahead and do the warm-ups, and then we're going to work in our traditions book. It said, stuck at home, let's practice. Let's look at that. Go ahead and get that out and find the page for your instrument and you can pause the video while you find it and then come back and then we'll do this together. Okay, now I'm looking at number one, long tone exercise. It says repeat all notes, four beats, eight beats, and then 12 beats. So we will do that with, with a metronome and we're gonna repeat each note. We'll go through it the first time playing each note four beats. We'll go through it the second time playing each note eight beats. We'll go through a third time playing each note 12 beats. So go ahead and uh, get, get your instruments out and we'll be back in just a moment to get started. Now we're ready to begin with line one, long tone exercise. I've set the metronome at 80 beats a minute. We're going to go through this first line and hold each note for four counts. Here we go. Play with me. One, two, ready. to hold each note for eight counts. Here we go. One, two, eight counts. Uh for just a few minutes and then you can go back and set your metronome at 80 and play that for 12 beats. I won't do that on the video right now just for the sake of time. The next line, the arpeggio, we'll do that the same way. So I'll play it one time through four beats per note. You play with me and then you can do 8 and 12 on your own. Here we go. Four beats on each note for the arpeggio. One, two, three. Okay, 
Now you can go back through that again and do that for eight beats and then 12 beats. You can pause the video and once you've done that then you can restart and we'll look at number two. Okay this is number two dot Rona. Again we're just going down in half steps. This is still a warm-up exercise. We want to keep this moving slow. So keep our metronome at 80 and play with me. Here we go. Number two. One, two, ready. <sighs> Okay, you can go through that a few times before we move on. You can pause the video and play that a couple of times until you've got it clean and smooth. And then we'll look at number three, the thirds exercise. We're going to keep this tempo the same, so it's still at 80 beats a minute. Here's number three, thirds. You can play with me. One, two, three. And for now, that's all that we're going to do with that last practice sheet. So from here, we'll, we will move on to other stuff. This week, we're going to look at page 27. We're going to divide page 27 into two weeks. So for this week, we're only looking at lines 108, 109, and 110. This has a different time signature than we're really used to using. We're in this, we're in 6-4 time. We're in 6-4 time, it tells us that we have six counts per measure and that a quarter note receives one count. And in the conducting, counting and conducting box, with 6-4 time, it shows you how these notes are counted. We have the eighth notes across the top are one and two and three and four and five and six and. Just like they are in any other time signature that has four in the bottom. The quarter notes are just one, two, three, four, five, six. Dotted half notes are one, hold two, hold three, four, hold five, hold six. And a dotted whole note gets six counts. And it's one, hold two, hold three, hold four, hold five, hold six. So let's look at number 108. And the instructions for this says write the counting and clap the rhythm before you play. So you can pause this video when I'm finished counting for you and write in your counting and then we'll clap and count it together. So I'm going to count it for you. This would be then the first measure, one, two, three, four, five, six. In the second measure, one, two, and three, and four, five, six. In the third measure, one, and two, and three, and four, five, six, and. And in the last measure, one, two, and three, four, whole, five, whole, six. So if you'll pause the video, and go ahead and write in your counting under that, then we'll come back and we'll clap and count that line. Okay, now that you've got your counting written in, let's clap and count line 108 together. Here we go. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, and three, and four, five, six. One, and two, and three, and four, five, six, and one, two, and three, four, hold, five, hold, six, off. Now, 
it says to play that on a concert F. So let's give that a try. Ready? Pick up your instruments. Let's look at 108. I'll give you four, five, six, and we'll come in on the beginning of line 108. Here we go. Four, five, six. <laughs> Now let's take a look at line 109, Green Bushes. This is an English folk song and has a nice little bounce to it. If you look at it, make sure we check the key signature first. Uh, for C instruments, we have a B flat in our key signature. All the E's and A's are natural. For B flat instruments, you have an F sharp. All B's are natural. For E flat instruments, F sharp and C sharp. And for French horn, you have nothing in your key. Everything is natural. So we want to finger and count this together. Notice it begins on count six. And we borrowed our pickup note from the last measure. So let's finger this and count together. Here we go. I'll give you ready and go. And we'll start on six. Here we go. Ready and go. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. Two and three and four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two and three, four, whole five. All right. Now, I'm going to play it for you. I want you to finger along while I play and say the note names. I'm going to take it fairly slow the first time, then we'll speed it up a little bit. So here we go the first time. Finger along. Ready and now, okay, now we're going to pick up the speed a little bit and do it a little bit more in time. So you can rewind the video and you can play along with that video at the slower speed and then we'll do it a little bit faster. So finger with me and count this time. I'm going to play a little faster. At this time, I'm also going to include the dynamics that are marked under it. It starts mezzo piano, then it crescendos to forte, then it decrescendos. And since it doesn't give us anything, we generally would decrescendo down one dynamic level. So we go back to mezzo piano. Then we'll crescendo back up to forte, and then we'll decrescendo back down to mezzo piano. So this will be going up and down, shaping the phrase all the way through. Here we go. Finger and count with me, starting on count six. Ready and now. <laughs> times as you would like. Now your test for this week is number 110, Promenade from Pictures at an Exhibition. I'll also post a link in your Google Classroom of a recording of this so you can actually hear an orchestra play this whole piece. This is a really great piece. Uh, it describes a person's walk through an art gallery. There's many different movements. Each movement describes a different painting. And this melody that we have for this, for this exercise number 110 is the promenade. This is as the viewer walks from one painting to the, to the other. This theme keeps repeating all throughout the piece. So let's look at this. This is uh, the meter switches back and forth between 5-4 and 6-4 time. So let's finger and count this. Before we can do anything, we have to look at the key signature. In our key signature, for C instruments, we have an F sharp. 
So that means all of your B's, all of your E's, and all of your A's are natural. For our B flat instruments, we have F sharp, C sharp, and G sharps, with B's, of course, being natural. For the E flat instruments, we have F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and D sharp. And for the French horn, you have F sharp and C sharp with your B's natural. So we're going to finger and count this, and then I'll play it for you. You can finger along with me. But let's finger and count first. So this is 110. Ready? Go with me. Ready? And now. One, two, three, four, and five. One and two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, and five. One and two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, and five. One and two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, and five. One and two, three, four, five, six. One and two, three, four, five, six. One hole, two hole, three hole, four hole, five. Off. Now, if you'll finger through that several times, saying the note names, making sure we're getting the right key signature every time, and then take it, I would practice it in two measure pieces. If you'll notice, the first two measures and the second two measures are exactly the same. So once we take these first two measures, and I would practice that several times because the first two measures and the second two measures and then the second two measures on the next line is all the same thing. So just getting those two measures, you get all but four measures of the whole song. So spend some time working that out. Just get that till it's very easy. Then let's look at the, the last measure of the first line going to the first measure of the second line. We have one, two, three, four, and five, one, and two, three, four, five, and six. Let's try that. Finger and count that with me. This is the last measure of the first line going to the first measure of the second line. Here we go. Ready? And now. Now, I would do that over and over until I've got that down. And then we look at the last two measures. So the last two measures, finger and count the last two with me. Ready? Here we go. Finger and count. One and two, three, four, five, six. One hole, two hole, three hole, five, and off. So we'll play that. Ready? Last two. Finger and count with me. Now. <laughs> Once you've broken that up into small pieces like that and worked out those measures, then it's much easier to put it together. So this time I'm going to play all the way through it. I want you to finger and count with me going through it and then repeat the video and play along. Here we go, fingering and counting, number 110. One, and now. <laughs> So, that is your test for, for Friday. It will be a flip grid test. 
and that flip grid will become available on Wednesday at 3 o'clock. So you can look for that on Wednesday. You want to practice this first half of this page, number 108, 109, and 110 for the entire week. And then let's do that test on, on either Thursday or Friday and you'll be ready to finish. Now, last week I gave you an opportunity at some extra credit and I'm going to do the same thing this week. So I want you to tell me the name of the team that's on this glass. If you can look at the glass and tell me the name of the team that that represents, or at least if you don't know the name of the team, describe it at the beginning of your video, I will give you five extra points on your test. Have a great week. Now that we're done with the method book work, this will be a good time to get out your concert music and work on some of the parts that you, that you need to practice so that when we do get back together as, as a group that we'll be able to still prepare for our spring concert. The recordings for all of that music is on our band web page. All you have to do is click on the link. Some of them even have the music on the screen so you can read it off the screen from Pepper as you go along. Uh, once we've done that, then we're going to go back and look at the Let's Practice sheet and do the last line, number five, as a warm down. Okay, here we go. We're going to set the metronome at 80. Again, so we don't want this to go very fast. We're going to, we're going to gently play through this number five, this warm down. One, two, three. Ah! for just a second and we'll go back and do it again. Two, three, four. <laughs> slur through that for all instruments except trombones. Trombones just legato and as smooth as you can. And then after the workout that we just had with our technique and our concert music, this just helps relax the muscles and so that things are loose and relaxed. So when you come back and practice again tomorrow, it, you won't have problems. So hopefully we'll be back together before very long. I'll keep putting these videos out about once a week. So use what you see here and the music that you have and practice. Be safe.